Alrighty guys, this way. Let's go. We're at the Desert Snoring Center, and today we're collecting insects from our pitfall traps. We found an alive scorpion. Oh, that's a big alive! alive. 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 Probably the biggest bug we found today. It kind of scared me, but then I got used to it because it was in a bag. She's braver than I am. I wouldn't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I would never expect to see all this stuff. Like all the different type of bugs. Like I, I only see like a few types. Like I've never seen this many variety before. Can you see it? It's itty bitty. Well, we've been working with the Deer Valley Unified School District for about a year, and the idea was getting kids and teachers at four different grade levels to come out and actually use the desert as a field laboratory experience. Right, what's different between here and we where we just collected the rocks? More, more, Less more trees. Think, more trees? More, 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 yeah. more bug holes, okay. The data that they collect is actually put into a database for scientists to draw upon. And this is one of the few projects that actually looks on urban encroachment on the environment. Um, and so everything the students do, the data they collect, um, is recorded and put into this database and with their names. So they actually have, they actually are true scientists. They're actually being part of an ongoing scientific research project. Toss it in and then it could be little leaves, could be nothing, could be. The plan for the future is that this area is a 26 acre campus that's on the Loop 303 Sonoran Parkway alignment so that it provides access to the 21,000 acre preserve that the city is building up here in its north regions. We found some leaves and some dirt, maybe an ant in there. It's like a centipede. Uh -huh. We're not sure what it is yet, yeah. so we have to look at it under a microscope. You need to see like what's around you and what you should be looking out for in the desert because you never know, you might see a now the scorpion around some time like in your house, so. The Sonoran Desert is a unique environment in all the world. And if people get to understand it and see its beauty and its harmony and the efficiency that all the parts have together, I think they'll be able to understand a lot of the science and technology and environmental issues that uh, are now affecting our world. Ready to go back? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.